Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? I know I was saying, you know, I might have not came back or I might have, but I said, you know what, let me just get his word right quick that God told me so, that God uh, gave me. So yeah, that's what he told me. He said, strong delusions, you know, so I'm going to be reading in the, in the Bible where it's talking about that. So I'm going to be reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, For the mystery of inequity doeth already work. What's inequity? Sin, sinfulness. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Y'all remember when I was talking about uh, them other scriptures where it say they're going to have false, false Christ, false prophets. You know, doing signs and wonders and miracles. You know, that even the very elect will be deceived. You know, and it's basically saying the same thing right here. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. You know, the things that the children of Satan going to be doing, the things, the, the children of Satan going to be doing the same things, you know, the same things as the children of God. But they're going to doing powers and signs and lying wonders. Okay. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, and that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, you know, I'm going to talk about that to the best of my ability. So, it's saying... That God is gonna God gonna send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Who? Who he gonna send a strong delusion to that they should believe a lie? The ones who didn't want to listen to him, the ones who didn't want to come out of their wickedness, the ones who didn't want to come out of their unrighteousness. You know, just like it say, uh what is it? It said the ones who didn't, because they received not the love of truth that they might be saved. The ones that didn't want to hear the truth, accept the truth, receive the truth. Okay. And so it's like when you don't, when you don't accept the truth, well, you're just going to end up accepting a lie. When you don't want to believe the truth, you're just going to end up believing a lie. And that's the ones who just, you know, just don't want to listen to the truth, listen to the word of God. The ones that saying, oh, no, I, I, I don't want to hear about how I got to, uh, you know, change my ways. I don't want to hear about how I got to lay my life down. I don't want to hear about how I can't, you know, do this and do that. I don't want to hear about that. No, I don't want to receive that. I don't want to accept that. I refuse. I refuse to listen to what the word of God say. Or what God is saying. I'm, I refuse. No. I'm going to do me. I'm going to live how I want to live. I'm going to go my way. They gonna li The ones that want to live. You know. Like like they, uh, like they say. They want to live. Yahweh. And not Yahweh. <laughs> you know. So so people that, that want to live like that. You know. The people that just don't want to. Even start with any type of repentance. That don't want to come to God at all. You know. Not saying we perfect, but I'm just saying, you know, the ones that just choose to stay away from God, period, you know, and don't want to repent, don't want to start repenting, don't want to have a conversation with them, none whatsoever, you know. And so God's saying that, you know, well, I'm going to give them to a strong delusion. All right, well, you want to, you know, pick the world over me or you want to go do this and that and, uh, you know, pick unrighteousness over over me. Well, go ahead, then I'm gonna give it over to a strong delusion. You see, because they didn't like the words say they didn't want to receive the love of the truth. What that mean? That mean, you see, when we like when with us, 
when we love somebody, you know, just with us, like when we love somebody, we're going to tell them the truth, right? No matter if it hurt them or what night, it's to, to help them in the long run, right? When you love somebody, you're going to tell them the truth. It's the same thing with God. He come tell us the truth because he love us, because he want to save us. You see, like it say, they, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. No, that's not the one I wanted to read. And with all the deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Yeah. Because, you know, like I say, God, he'll tell us the truth. He'll tell people the truth so they can be saved. Out of whatever, out of whatever situation, darkness or whatever. God will come tell us, hey, don't go that way, right? He'll tell us, don't go that way. That, that's not the way you need to go. Don't be around that person. That person not for you. That's not my will. That's that's not that's not me. Don't go that way. Hey, don't go do that. Don't be doing those things. That's that's not of me. You know, don't go down that route. But do we? But if we don't listen, right? We should we receive to listen. I mean, we refuse to listen and say that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. So, like I say, when you decide to not listen to the truth. Was waiting for you. Was waiting for you. Damnation, destruction. And so that's the ones that want to live, you know, like opposite from what, what God is saying or what God is trying to say to them. And so since they're not living in the truth, they'll be living in a lie. And it's another, uh, Another scripture I wanted to read. It says Second Timothy three thirteen. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So aside from you know what I was reading, evil men, wicked people. It said they're gonna get worse and worse, deceiving, and being deceived. That mean they're gonna have some people you know. They, they, that's, that's going to be, that's deceiving. You know, they got some great deceivers and all they do is deceive people. Everything that come out of their mouth is deception. Pretty much none but deception, none but lies, seducers. You see, cause a deceiver is none but a, a person that's trying to seduce you into, you know, believing a lie. That's all a, de a deceiver is when somebody deceive you, when somebody trying to deceive you, they're trying to seduce you into believing a lie. And so, but the ones that's deceiving, they it, it, it's crazy because they, they think they they just deceiving people, but they being deceived by the enemy that's causing them to deceive others. So, so they got people that's you know deceiving people, but being deceived by the enemy to cause them to want to deceive people. Just a mess, you know. And so deceiving, when you deceiving or, or when you uh walking under deception is, is lies, is delusion, you know. And so I wanted to read the uh the definition of delusion. It say a false belief, a judgment about external reality, a misconception, a misunderstanding, a misinterpretation, illusion, fool's paradise, self-deception, the act of deluding or the state of being deluded. Deception, misleading, fooling, tricking, trickery. You see, that's all. That's all. This that's all the same. So the people that you know, like I said, the people that just don't want to listen to God or His Word, God will give them over to a strong delusion, so they'll be walking in full deception, living a false reality, living in deception. Now they're gonna be deceiving. And being deceived. You know, so. I mean, that's all I really got to say about this. Is that you just want to make sure you're not living, you know, in under no delusion, no deception, you know. Because like I say, if you don't want to believe the truth, well, you're just going to end up believing a lie, you know. If you don't want to listen to what God said, 
If you don't want to listen to his truth to his word, if you want to be, you know, aside from his ways, it's just like, you know, I'm just saying this for example, y'all don't play <laughs> but real. But like, I'm just, cause I know where, I know where you're going to try to go with it, but don't, don't play. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> I'm really trying to use this for example, but y'all want to play. Look how y'all want to play. You see? Y'all pet it. You see? <laughs> you see? Y'all pet it. But anyways, it's like it's like a... Uh, <laughs> um, like I said, I'm using this for example. It's like, you know, say you got a, a ex, a, a crazy a crazy ex, you know, and uh, they just refuse to believe you done with them they refuse to believe you know that you don't want them they they refuse to believe that it's over between y'all two is no coming back you keep trying to tell them no i don't want you i'm not coming back you know i don't like you i didn't crush you out i didn't told you in front of everybody i don't fuck with you <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just saying, you know, like, you be trying to tell her, uh, you know, it's like an ex, you know, you, you be trying to, uh, for example, you know what I'm saying? For example, what you talking about? What y'all talking about? For example, you see, you see, I told you y'all too petty. You see, y'all want to play too much. <laughs> like, when you be trying to tell her ex, like, no means no. It's not like that. But because. Because they don't want to listen to the truth. Because you truly telling them it ain't none of that. But because they don't want to listen to the truth, they going to end up, because they don't want to believe a lie or, or listen to the truth, they going to end up believing. Wait, I say that right. Because they don't want to listen to the truth or accept the truth or believe the truth, they going to end up believing a lie, accepting a lie. And so what they going to be? Delusional. Walking in some strong delusion. And they're going to be thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be back together. Yeah, they're going to come back to me. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. You know, walking in strong delusion. Strong delusion. Strong delusion. They're just thinking. And really, and really being deceived. Because they're already, you know, walking in deception. And so, so you know, I'm just saying, for example, like when you know how how you try to tell an ex, hey, it ain't like that. Leave me alone. Go ahead about yourself. Get out of my life. I don't like it. Don't want you. It's over with. Done. Okay. But they still got in their head that you know it's like that, or uh, uh, like they it, it's it's something that it's some aside from what you're telling them. That's so that's how it be with God. You know, that's how it be with with God. For when God be trying to tell us the truth. And trying to get us to, you know, hear his word of God and, I mean, hear his word and accept and receive it. That's how I be with, with people. You know what? You don't want to accept the truth of God, but you're going to end up believing a lie. Walking in delusion, thinking this and thinking that. And it don't even be that. You know, fooling yourself. Because you believe you can't, you you believe we not supposed to, you know, live live according to God. His ways, you know, we're not supposed to be. Living as children of God, you know, they got people that just want to live how, you know, live how they want to live and stuff, you know, so. And God will give them over to that strong delusion if they don't want to repent and, you know, just come up out the world and stuff. So, come up out their sins, come up out their wickedness, you know. So, you know, that's all I really had to say about that, you know, so just make sure, you know, you're not lines uh, you're not you're not walking in any type of delusion you're not walking in any type of lies or deception you know because the enemy could deceive us with something so small you know i mean like i know the bible talking about how god could give us over such strong delusion but you know satan you know is is he do be trying to deceive he do be trying to you know speak lies to us tell lies to us and stuff you know so you just gotta make sure you know you not you not believing no lies, listening to the no deception or whatever, you know, none of that, you know, so you don't be in no delusion. All right, so that's all I gotta say, y'all. You know, uh I pray y'all have a, a beautiful day and I love y'all. All right, all right.